The isotope effect generally refers to small differences in the physical behavior of individual isotopes of an element. Isotopes of an element contain the same number of protons and electrons, but differ in their number of neutrons. Therefore, their electric charge and the occupation of the orbitals is the same. Only their nuclear mass and thus the total mass is different. This ensures an almost identical chemical behavior of the isotopes. Physically, isotopes differ in their lifetime and different radioactive decays. In this experiment, the isotope effect in the spectrum of hydrogen is shown. Hydrogen is the first element in the periodic table. A hydrogen atom consists of one proton, one electron, in the case of isotopes none, one or two neutrons. The simplest isotope of hydrogen is the protium, also called pure hydrogen. Its atomic nucleus is formed by one proton and contains no neutrons. Besides the protium, there are the isotopes deuterium and tritium. The nucleus of deuterium contains a proton and a neutron. The nucleus of tritium contains one proton and two neutrons. In the following, the spectra of pure hydrogen and a mixture of protium and deuterium are compared. The experimental setup consists of a pure hydrogen lamp and a deuterated hydrogen lamp consisting of 10% protium and 90% deuterium. To visualize the spectral lines of hydrogen, the light of the hydrogen lamp is sent through an illumination slit. The light is then reflected on a Rowland grating with 14,438 lines per inch. A Rowland grating is a reflection diffraction grating. In a Rowland grating, the lines of the grating are incised into the concave side of a spherical cap made of mirror metal. If the spherical cap has a radius r, the illumination gap must be fixed on the Rowland circle around the Rowland grating, which in turn has a radius of r half. Due to the spherical shape of the Rowland grating, a sharp image of the spectrum can be seen directly on the grating. This is recorded by the camera. If you look at the red line of the spectrum, you can see that this line looks different depending on the lamp used. In contrast to the one red line in the spectrum of pure hydrogen, two lines can be seen in the spectrum of the protium deuterium mixture, which are close together and appear in different shades of red. One of these lines, the spectral line of protium, is at lambda sub h equals 656.28 nanometers. This line is also visible in the hydrogen lamp filled with pure protium. The other one is at lambda sub d equals 656.11 nanometers in the distance of about 0.179 nanometers and can be assigned to deuterium. The isotope effect, the appearance of the double spectral line which became visible in this experiment, is based on the mass difference between the pure hydrogen in the hydrogen lamp and the hydrogen isotope mixture in the deuterated hydrogen lamp. Because of the additional neutron in the atomic nucleus of deuterium, this isotope is almost twice as heavy as the protium, which is why it is also called heavy hydrogen. Due to the high percentage difference in the mass of the two isotopes, the spectral lines can be observed separately. This can be shown by the Rydberg equation, which is given by 1 over lambda equals r times 1 over m squared minus 1 over n squared. The Rydberg equation makes it possible to determine the frequency of a photon emitted when an electron passes from the state of the main quantum number n to the state with the main quantum number m. The Rydberg constant r required for this depends on the mass of the nucleus. It is defined by r equals r sub infinity over 1 plus m sub e divided by large m, where r sub infinity is the Rydberg constant for an infant nuclear mass, m sub e the mass of the electron and large m the nuclear mass. Since the nuclear mass differs from the isotopes, the frequencies of the photons emitted by the isotopes also differ, although the same transition is considered. To illustrate, the constant of protium R sub H and deuterium R sub D R. R sub H equals 1.09678 times 10 to the power of 7 1 over meters. R D equals 1.09707 times 10 to the power of 7 1 over meters. Consequently, the spectrum of the deuterated hydrogen lamp shows two red spectral lines. At very fine spectral resolution, it can be shown that the Rydberg constant of pure hydrogen with the proton in the nucleus and that of deuterium with the proton and a neutron in the nucleus and thus the resulting line spectra of the Balmer series differ. Music